Bruh. Good to see you, Mary. Who's this with you? Uh, you too. This is my wife, Alex. Alex. Oh, hi, Alex. Good to see you. Yeah, she she works with me on a lot of stuff, Bruh. so anything that you say to me, you're basically saying to her, so... Bro, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get out there, bro. I'm going to keep it a bucket. That is fine. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, are we missing you know Benji? Yep. I'll call. It's pretty nice. They might have activated it. The bark is very nice. The, no. the, um, the chop chop guy. I'll give them 30 seconds to get here and then we can start the meeting. The, maybe you guys got 30 the seconds chop you guys chop are. guy is now activated in, 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 the, in the server. You're the oh, hospital. Old school you're chop chop guy. Remember chop chop? What are you going to do if he doesn't show up? Start it without start the meeting. He's, you're going to beat him up? He's... No. That'd be kind of cool. It's good to see you, Mary. Have you met yeah. everyone here? Yeah, I know everyone here. Okay. Guy that never bought the cars I imported for him. Marty, Ray, and OTP. Oh. You imported cars for John Paul? Oh, yeah. Back in the day, he'd come in the shop. Maybe I could remember a Lamborghini. I could really use the best car. Uh, uh, car. Wow. And then I would Those import days. it, and then he would just not buy it. And then he would say he didn't like the car. Uncanny. I, so. I, I did buy it, though. Uncanny. Eventually you did, yeah, after like three different cars. I bought one, um, but uh, it's because I was investing money into research. Research. Yeah, I, I got you, man. I got research you. is expensive, yeah? When you first want to do right. something, it that's takes true, expensive yeah. money. You're right, that's true, it does. Also, I aspire to be one of the best available. racers in the city. Coming up. Just letting you guys know. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's going to be pretty cool to see. I'm uh, definitely looking forward to that. I am you speak up just that a guy. Bit? Yeah, I can speak up a bit, yeah. All right. Now, listen. Um, mm -hmm. Since you guys work mechanic all the time, right? You guys work closely with the tow guys, right? Yeah. Yeah, we work pretty close to them. Where the fuck are me lockpicks, bruv? I don't know, honestly. I've been uh, I've been talking with like their their head tow guy, and he uh, he's just as confused as you guys. You know, he's gone as far as he feels he can. Like they they think that he's the best worker there, and they're not letting him buy them. So, so where they're at, I couldn't fucking tell you. That's annoying. Yeah, it is pretty fucking annoying. Um, it feels like that with a lot of things, to be honest with you guys. It's not what just that, mean? like the. Uh, well, when I'm uh, working at Mosley's, you know, I feel like I'm ready for promotion. But when I talk with Max, he says that, you know, he's got nothing left to teach me. Um, you know, I feel like there's uh, some stuff that we're just not ready for, you know? Yeah. Yeah, some technology is not here yet, I think. To be honest, mm -hmm. I think they're important, the blueprints or some shit. I don't know what's going on right now. Yeah, we haven't built the city up enough, you know? All right. Now that everyone's here, we can start. Hey, guys. Uh, I don't mean to a lot. Who's, uh, is this? Oh, wait, this is that's your, my your wife. are you married? Yeah, that's my wife. Yeah, I remember meeting you guys it. earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, guys, there we go. Yeah, you can try right. to see you again. Yeah, you too. All right, everyone is here so we can start the meeting. How's it going, Mary? So, uh, you had the conversation with Marty and OTT. Do you want to, do you want to go yeah. over what was discussed already? There's, there's something about Mary. What do you mean? I think I read a book like earlier. Okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, I have a book, actually, at the Liquid Library. Yeah, 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 Liquid Library. I saw your, I saw your book. Yeah, it's a pretty good book. Uh, what were we talking about, OTT? Parts? Uh, yeah, the parts. Okay. You know, we can uh, give you the parts at the... Basically, the rate. And then once you get your own house, we regulate together on what the price of these parts are going to be sold yep. throughout the city. And then, um, you know, if there's any sort of outliers, then perhaps we take care of them if uh, a stern talking doesn't, uh, doesn't work. Right. I think uh, I think it's really important that we regulate this shit because every single Tom, Dick, and Harry that uh, can actually start pumping this shit out is going to try and start undercutting, and we need to be pretty cutthroat, quite literally. Agreed. I mean, you already saw it with the mechanic stuff when people were uh, like racing to the bottom with mechanic prices and, and trying to sell parts as cheap as they could. No one knows how to value their fucking time in this city, right? And, and most people are just going to fuck themselves as hard as they can because they're too stupid to realize how to do proper business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, agree. So we got to make sure that they're doing proper business, whether they like to or not. I feel that yep. they they need to do proper business so mm. we can do proper business. Exactly. Yeah, we exactly. see them. Uh, any of these guys? What do you guys? Not my hey, who who are these guys? I have, no I have no idea, but they should fuck who off. Who are these all guys? 
Can we help you? Hey, what's going on? I'm Randall Lemmington. Hey, I'm Mr. looking for James Randall. Uh, he's not here. Yeah, he's not oh, here. Shit. He's at the retirement home. Any of you he's have in money? the hospital, Bobby actually. Bobby Charles robbed me, and I don't have a SIM card anymore. Can you have money? I'm gonna lie, we don't particularly care. Can you please leave? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I have to okay. call you back. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Bye. See you, bye. Sorry, sir. Have a, have a good night. Uh, so, far, so, so, question: How much are you guys buying materials for right now? Like, uh, bro, I, I'm getting it for free at like ten cents. Really? 10 yeah. Cents? Because people are getting rid of them. You just gotta, you gotta okay. talk them to, you gotta talk them into it. I, I swear. I got you. I mean, that's about last forever, though. Riz. Well, that was the dilemma that we're having because as of right now, we feel like we can get them pretty are cheap, done? like as in free mm. or like fifty cents at most. Yeah. But um, you're going to figure out real quick that you need a certain amount of materials to even get one part. Yep. So there are the days of materials costing $10 each, eight, seven, six, five, even four bucks. It's over. There's just okay. no way unless mm -hmm. the prices of the um, uh, repairs go up exponentially, right. which, you know, we just can't afford to do to the city right now. So yeah. Even uh, even well, how, two dollars, even two dollars per material puts us at a loss. How much does it take to make uh, some brake pads, for example? 14 times 2. 14 times 2? 28 mm -hmm. total, yeah. 28, 28. total. Well, well, I mean, even at 50 cents per, that's still pretty good, though. It's, it's not, a lot of margin in that. It's decent. Well, you got, you got to think about it, though. There's margins that are going into the people who are getting the materials. There's margins to the people who are getting the materials and making stuff. There's margins to the people oh, yeah. who are oh, yeah. taking yeah. materials yeah. and Be making stuff. Listen, things, listen. You know? people, people that gave me their shit or uh, sold it. These are people that have, like, two or three or five. But people people that have hundreds, like, they're, like, emotionally invested in their materials. They don't they don't let them get away uh, for free or, yeah. like, for right. less of a amount. The problem that I have is that people are that have a lot are scared to sell them uh, for cents. You know it's what they're worth, though. It's right. stupid as fuck. Yeah, but they're wrong. Well, you know. Mary, can you speak up slightly? They're wrong. Yeah, sorry. I, I just they're don't they're flat out wrong. What I, was saying. Mm -hmm. I got you. You're right. You're right. They are wrong. They're, they're not going to be super expensive. Well, so like, let's say if you were to make some brake pads and you wanted to break even, it, it would have to be like what? A, a dollar per? The max two dollars per one fifty. Oh man, that'd be that'd be pretty fucking bad if it was a dollar per. That's no way. That'd it be, would be it would be pretty bad. It'd be very small profit margins, but it would you'd, be profit yeah. margin. You'd be making like, um, like two bucks well, a pop. Even if it was a dollar per, you'd be making twelve dollars in the part. That's these are like razor thin margins. That it, yeah, they're not. It's not great. And it takes uh, it takes time to make the part. So it's not uh, seven minutes per part. What? It's really shit. Yes. Seven yeah. minutes? Correct. You can't just make them if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. That, okay. So that, so that's like also a time sink on top of it. Holy shit, seven minutes. How much yeah, do you and know also about like uh, you definitely get tired crafting, if you know what I mean. Like I can't craft. Do you, too do much. you have do you have your own house? Really? Stuff, Mary? I I'm at about Isn't like a, right a now, limit. So I'm pretty close. Well, the thing I, is, I think the reason the margins can't even, you know, we can't be going for razor thin margins, the fucking security risk for all this, man. Yeah, that, I think mentioned something safe. about that, but he didn't explain. What do you mean the security risk? Oh, oh, wait till you see. Wait till you get a house. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. We'll, let, we'll a, let you experience oh. it for yourself. Yeah, we don't want to spoil it all for you, but let's just say okay. awesome. um, it's not the way it used to be. All right. Okay. At all. Um, that's kind of concerning. Oh yeah. That's oh, actually really oh, yeah. To hear. oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a shit show. Yeah, when you understand why house. you need to be able to make money very quickly, otherwise, you know, it's just not uh, worth it. I got you. I understand. Uh, so I mean, go, listen, gone I'm... are the days of the past where, you know, things feel safer and you can, you can go, you know, te make ten cents on the fucking dollar and you'll be all right. right. No, no more. Uh, so, question: Do you need to be there working on the bench to make these parts, like in person? No, no. So to at least start. start. You put the parts together. And then once you know you heat them and, and, and fire them together, you gotta let it cool down for right. however yeah. long. You don't have to sit there and fucking you know do all yeah. sorts of craftsmanship for that long. Okay, okay. That, so that that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's you know, good. I, now, now that I'm thinking about it, like you guys couldn't even on you guys can keep most of these going for fucking ten hours if you had that thing running every single day, twenty four seven. No, right. Well, that's. Uh, I think we could. You I think, don't think so. Not at seven minutes. 
we go through uh, there's a little bit multiple more of us so can uh multiple yeah craft, people. i guess yeah okay. like uh, yeah so basically if you have your entire um say say it was you and like six supervisors hmm. they all could could um you know craft these parts they could, yeah, use their and, hands on their own stuff. right yeah. so right. theoretically you could be getting seven parts every seven minutes if you had all of them oh. working on it if you know uh oh if my we got a day to just completely busted and, and gather up we would be like if we got that head start we'd be able to sustain and last for at least two weeks fair enough okay as long as we are ahead you, and we know how much, it'll be okay. Have you guys tried having a master mechanic use the bench? Yeah, we're, it's, it's we're, yes. we're, we're supposed to be given schematics to craft for cheaper. No, nope. Mary, I need a little bit more information about that. You said something yeah. earlier when we talked. That there's something mm -hmm. about cheaper. Like, if you're better like a master mechanic, you can make yeah, like stuff cheaper? Yeah, like I use less materials to make parts. What do you mean by that? Like, have you test, tested it yourself? Uh, yeah, well, well, I haven't tested it. I don't have a bench to test it on. But when I, when I talked with Max... Um, he told me that uh, the schematics I used should use less materials to craft a part now. That was the um, last promotion that he gave me. Which, which, we try with Ming, right? And didn't work out. Really? Yeah, and he's a, and master, he's a master mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. Oh, shit. So I think you got bullshit uh, information or that information well, isn't implemented me. yet. I think it's probably that's more likely the second thing. Gotcha. Because okay, that's what so he told me, you know? Let's get down to business, Mari. What yeah. are the price margins we're looking at right now? Asking me or Marty? Uh, specifically, I was talking to you, Mary. But oh, the... I thought you said Marty. Marty. Okay. Oh, sorry, I said Mary. Uh, oh. so right now we're we're charging. So it costs forty-one dollars to buy a part. Um, we charge fifty dollars per Mosley's. Uh, that's kind of like the standard rate. Some people charge less. Some people charge more. The 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 lowest you can go is forty-one dollars a part. So let's just say for this example that that's what we're going to be charging um if you guys are being able to pick up parts for like 14 or for 50 cents each and it costs 28 per then that's going to give us a pretty decent margin of about 28 dollars that's pretty profit. dank yeah that's yeah that's bad. good that's really good especially when you're doing 20 30 part uh yeah. that that shit adds up yeah no it adds up exponentially fast because you guys are essentially you know all that all that money that disappears into nowhere when we charge you like a thousand dollars for repair like mm -hmm. I get like two hundred of those dollars, and the rest of that shit is just gone. But now, mm. if you guys are the ones actually like providing these parts, you're gonna be getting uh, all that money back, and only some of it's gonna be used for Damn. expenses. Well, yeah. yeah. So, so this while you don't have your own bench and shit, how mm. much should we um, split the profits on those margins between maker and seller? Well, I don't know. So we were thinking we had a number in mind. Mm -hmm. So we came together. If we're the people that are coming to you guys and helping you guys out, you know, with bringing the parts, mm -hmm. materials, stuff like that, we would sell you each part for 34. And then okay. you can obviously sell that for 50 and make a pretty large uh, margin on that. Yeah, we'd only be getting bad. a small, you know, we'd be getting that's a small dank. profit. That's dank. That's what it is. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not yeah. That's flat fucking cold hard cash cut. <laughs> what he yeah, said. you're right, it is. I mean, it's, I will say it's not like a lot, but it's definitely better than it was before. So I'm not going to, you know, turn my nose up yet. I mean, the times are going to change too, right? Oh, so, I mean, you know, it's temporary, you know, we can have these meetings like once every, you know, couple weeks, see where the market is, see how many yeah, uh, benches are out there, see who's pissing us off and reevaluate. Yeah, I got you. No, hundred percent. I think that, uh, like, I mean, to start off, that doesn't sound bad. My question is not really, or my concerns are not really about the price as much as they are about storage and these things because, uh, it's very easy for someone if we just keep them at the shop to just, someone just run up and rob us and take that shit, you know? Okay, we can store them in bulk for you and then transport them in bulk for you guys. Correct. Yeah, but that doesn't really solve the problem. Like, the, you know, someone comes in, they need 30 part repair in their car, what am I to do? So what's your solution? I don't know, that's kind of... I mean, you, you use, out, I just use a locked car in the mm -hmm. shop that has all the shit in it. The problem yep. is, is all you need is a, is from what I'm told, is a crowbar to break open trunks. That's no. not true. That's not true. It's fake. Okay. Fake okay. news. Okay. okay. Um, I mean, as far as I'm aware, no one has the ability to lockpick cars, so it is somewhat yeah. safer now. So yeah, you give so, everybody, everybody on duty, you give them a pair of keys, and then they all go through the trunk or some shit. They pick this stuff up. I don't yeah. trust them. I don't trust most people in my shop. So, to be honest Mary, with you. then what I would do is, if I were you, I would get a van i'd buy one for you or you probably have one or you probably have a vehicle already something with a large trunk space we would transport them to you you parked it somewhere up there that's close and then anyone that you do trust you allow them to have a piece of this that they can then 
distribute the parts to other people. I'm sure you can probably find a network to do that, right? Uh, I mean, I could. I can very right. easily do yeah. that. The question is not could I. The question is, is it worth it to do all this effort for these people? Because, uh, I mean, I mean uh, a lot of these guys are fucking scammers. I'm just going to cut it straight with you. A lot of them are fucking liars or cheaters or thieves. Um, you can't trust them. Well, that's just the mechanic business, bro. That's just no, I a mean, fucking scam on a stack. Yeah, it is. But, you know, I'm putting my fucking... Uh, I'm putting my shit on the table here. And it's going to get chopped up by them if, I, if I'm not careful, you know? Bro, this is like when I go to the fucking... I go to the shop. I'm missing, like, blinker fluid. The guy sells me a new pair of tires. Fucking air fresheners, three mirrors, and a bunch of windows. Bro, I don't need none of that shit. I still buy it because I have to, man. <laughs> what the fuck I am I going to do? I got to trust this motherfucker, man. I got you, but we're, it's different. We're talking scale here, because now I'm going to have thousands of dollars worth of materials around, and I'm trying to keep that shit safe, you know? So what and, I would suggest then, Mary, right? You just select a certain crew that you trust. You bring your crew together. You can name them, like, Mary's crew or something like that. And these people yeah. are the ones that work with you and get access to these supplies. And maybe you can even throw it to them for, like, a cheaper cost so they make a little bit more profit. And then those people, due to that, are more willing to work with you and be trustworthy, right? I mean, that's a yeah. pretty good idea, Mary. I mean, you could get all the people that you don't really know all that well to continue to keep using the uh, the local to buy all the stuff, and then the ones like your highest trusted um, employees, you can give them the stuff that we're supplying and the stuff that you'll be supplying. No, yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I think that's kind of how I would more likely do it. Um, I would probably keep this to the master mechanics and people I trust because I do have people like that. But as far as like distributing these parts to everyone in the shop, there's not a chance to have no, to do we, that. No, yeah. I don't think we're, we're requesting that. We just want to work with someone that is experienced yeah, yeah. in Moses and has an employee network. No, yeah, I can. Yeah, that part's not hard to manage. There's plenty of okay. people I could work with and trust on that front. Perfect. Uh, okay, question. Have you guys talked to Dundee about any of this? No. Do you know any of this? No. Do you no. want him to know any of this? Do you trust Dundee enough that you no. want to work side by side with him? I don't trust that guy. I don't trust him, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I trust Mary. I, I don't trust, trust him 100%. Dundee. Okay, I, here's, I mean, like, here's what I'm going to say. I trust him if, in some things. I'll say that. I trust him in some things. Not in all ways. I don't think this is a matter of trust or not trust for us. My opinion is you are a mechanic working who has a crew under her. He is a mechanic that's working who has a crew under him. We have already spoken to you about this, so we're going to stick with you until we need to see otherwise. And I think that's the best way to go about it. If, if there's okay. ever a point in the future where we want to get Dundee involved, I'm sure we could. Pretty easy to, right? But right yeah. now, we stick with you, we test the waters, we see how it works, and then we, we work from there. I got you. That's fair. Yeah, that's totally fair. I mean, okay. like, uh, okay. what I'm kind of more worried about, I'm not even really worried about the interim, because I think this stuff is pretty easily solvable, right? What I'm more worried about is the long term, like, uh, maintaining these prices and, like, how exactly we're going to keep people from muscling in and fucking us, you know? That's a big concern of mine. You know, I saw it with the. You guys remember Popular Motorworks? A mechanic shop that opened up uh, and they were starting to sell, like, they were doing repairs for free and they were funding everything with their tow truck operation. Mm. And uh, it started like a race to the bottom where everyone was just fucking charging literally zero dollars for their services just so that they could do it, you know? And uh, I'm worried that that's going to happen with this shit too. Well. I think that's a bridge that we're going to have to cross when we get there, and we're just going to have to, you know, break some heads if we need to. It is I what it is. I'm going to add a comment to that. I think, Mary, that that's something you should talk about within the mechanic shop and try to stabilize some sort of flat rate that everyone is charging for, and that anyone that isn't involved in that, kind no, of like a union. No, no, this isn't an internal mechanic shop thing. This is a citywide thing. Is anyone anybody can, can repair. Yeah, anyone can do that shit. So... You'll, what you'll see is you'll see Shade Street mechanics pop up on Twitter all the time. They'll just walk into Mosley's, buy a bunch of parts, and they'll just go repair people's cars on the side of the road for him. So you want us to go take care of those people? No, I'm saying, like, you know, this is going to be an us problem, like all of us, because I'm going to have to deal with this shit, too, when I start making parts as well. And True. I think I'd... when when we see people doing this shit, we're going to need to fucking cut it out, you know? Marty, you know? You guys raise your uh, hands? Or, yeah? No, I'm just not seeing how this is our problem. No, 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 no. I'm not talking yeah, about I was just the thinking mechanics. It was just, it was I'm just talking about the parts. Happens, you know? I'm talking about, like, I don't know. I'm saying as, as things develop, people are going to start making their own parts. And then they're going to start selling them for cheaper than us. Could you, not, could you not be confrontational with our guests, bro? We're trying to make some business here, man. If you need to take a uh, cool down or uh, a little bit of a pause, you go right ahead, man. Are you talking to me? Yeah, buddy. You all right, pal? Uh, yeah, I just asked the question of why it was a, a problem. No, I'm, I'm just saying, really man. Understand. If you want to get a little cooler, man, you go, you go right ahead, man. No, I'm can you be okay. more Thank respectful, you. please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, man. Uh, Mary, can you give us a second, Mary, please? 
No mic. You want you want a second? Yeah, I got Yeah, you. we need we need a second, please. Yeah, Thank you very let, much. Let us get a second. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so Marty, uh, I must up. be completely. Wait, shut, wait, shut up! Shut up! No, 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 I must be completely confused. Yeah, fuck, what's going yo, on. fuck him! Fuck why him! We, fuck her! Why fuck are we acting like we're selling fucking guns and drugs, bro, bro, guys? It's car bro, bro. parts. Yo, why can't we just Marty, sell to other people? Marty, why are we limiting Marty, how much Marty, money Marty. we're making? What's what, happening? What here? I think the Benji hey, is, why, why we, we should, we should, we should make it, guys, guys, we should make it the fucking the taco truck of car parts. We roll in this bitch every two or three hours with a car loaded with parts. We sell them to all the mechanics. At a good price, we get the fuck out. They will be, they will gladly take our deal. No, no cuts, no, no middleman. No, we sell directly to the customer. Fuck the middleman and their cuts. We eat the whole cake, bitch. Fuck these motherfuckers. Genius. So how, much you, Genius. how much do you think we're going to be selling it for, though? Bro, bro, More than bro, 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 no, fuck it, bro. If they're if they're buying it over there at forty one, bro, fuck that. Yeah, you're right. 30, 35. 35, yeah, yeah. 35? Easily. Okay, yeah. but the only thing that I would like That's to like say is if, if we have a consistent network of, like, input and output with Mary, we, in the long term, will make more money from that than if we just... This, I disagree. Here and there yeah, I disagree. Yeah. This is the thing you don't understand. Guys. I'm pretty sure there is no long term with this. Yeah, okay? this is over. It's, this it's, is it's, not it's our end game. Yeah, this Bro, is right everybody's going to have these bad At the end week, of the day, so. these guys... Will do everything for themselves. Yeah, straight up. Bro. You hear, you hear it right now. They're gonna get mm. their own house. Bro, they're mm. their exactly. Own they're getting a, a free. Week, they're not gonna need us anymore. So we True. sell to everybody we right, get now. Ahead right now. On, we gotta sell yo, to everybody. That's on a little roof, bro. On Cuba. Listen, listen to me very carefully. Okay, listen. What does that mean? The, listen, the reality is they are getting a free slice of pie, and they're complaining on how they're gonna deliver it. When we could be selling the whole cake the whole time. What the fuck? This is what I'm saying. I don't know why we're so caught up on yeah, Mary. We sell to I everybody. I don't understand. If we go to we any sure mechanic and Mary, say, but sell to everybody. If we go to any mechanic and we don't explain a fucking single thing, we say, hey, I got these car parts. Instead of 41 bucks, it's 34. You want them? They're going to fucking say yes a hundred exactly. times. Straight up, yeah. A hundred times they'll say yes. Yeah, we yeah. should do that. For the next That's few what we days should be doing. Before a competition sparks up, dude, we can even have our own shop and it would fucking Yeah, work, exactly. Right? exactly. That's what we should be doing, yeah. Let, but a week from now, everybody's gonna have this. It's gonna be worth it. Guys, us. just just get. Call them up, boys. Call get, them up. Just, just get. So you guys know, guys, by the way. Get, get a horn I, on the car. A horn that, that they know what it is. You know, like the, the ice cream truck. Whatever. You get a horn, and they know it's the fuck. It's the fucking taco part truck. We come in. We, we roll in every couple hours and enter the shop. People know to come in and buy the parts, bro. So I just. I like that. We just roll in the shop, sell it all. So why at the meeting did we did we discuss that we wanted to work directly with Mary? We did not we discuss did. that. Wait, I, I, didn't I don't you think. set this meeting up? What? No. I thought no. you said this. It was meeting. OTT's no, idea. But, yeah, it was OTT. I so, thought we are working with her. OTT wanted to everybody. make a nice, we healthy business, everybody. and I and I respect that. Okay, no, respectfully, OTT? it was very smart and it was good. But he didn't have the information that we have now, and now we understand the market better. We can say fuck them, bro. Yeah. yeah okay. On cue. Listen, but, can I just say one thing? A few days from now, they're all gonna yeah. have this. So. Okay. Yeah, so the one thing that I want to say is, if we say, okay, fuck all this shit, and we'll just go sell people direct for thirty-five bucks. Why wouldn't we also just sell people direct and marry at 35 bucks? It doesn't matter if we work that's with her or not. Doing, right? We're still exactly. making the same amount of money. Doing. Instead of making her special, we just make everybody okay. special. Okay, yeah. then let's do that. Then that's great. But we yeah, should yeah, still plan. have her in her pocket for sure. Yeah, yeah let's do that. But okay, she good, will not good meeting, be, guys. I think she we're all on not, the same page here. But she will not work with us if we start working with other people like Dundee. Okay. Oh, so, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? I mean, Marty already said it. Marty already said it. No, no, Marty. We are not selling right. guns or drugs. No, you're right. This is, Listen, this, 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 we're, going, we're going for more of an initial like initial money gain rather than a long-term relationship. That's what we're aiming for. That's our goal, yes? Okay. Yes. I, yes. Yeah. I, what are the employees going to say? Yo, no. I'm not going to be selling car parts for the next month. We do it now because we're the only ones who can, and then... We get rid of that, that shit. Alright, let's, right? let's move on. Let's move on. Right, let's, let's do it. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking. Let's work out a deal with Mary, and we'll okay, also say, deal, like, hey, bro, 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 we just say flat out, bro, we are no longer interested in this business venture. Thank you for the opportunity. Good night. That's it. Oh. Damn. Damn. Damn bro, that's, that's, uh, maybe, that's aggressive. Maybe we worded um, a little better than that. Like maybe maybe better. No, no, no. I like it like that. No, no, no. I like. You like it like that? Yeah, yeah. Alright, come on, follow me. Okay. Let's let let's let X say. And then and then and then push. And then we just. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then, and then walk, and then walk, and then walk. You guys good? Uh, is everybody here? Guys, you guys all come in here? Y'all good? I'm oh, yeah, yeah, we're good. Cool. So, um, after further consideration, 
Uh, we are no longer interested in this business venture, okay. but we are very appreciative of your time. Matt. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Mary. It was good luck. Oh, she forgot the money. Fuck, get out. Oh, fuck. Go, go, run, run. We owe her 3K. Uh, no. 